Hey all, this video is for anybody that uh, is having issues getting the uh, VFD to run uh, on its own without actually hitting the run key, getting the machine to control, machine control. Uh, I was a total newbie at this, still am, and I thought this might help out somebody. Um, I've got the uh, uh, the Gecko Drive uh, G540 there doing most of my stuff. Uh, limit switches and things like that um, but I went ahead and purchased uh, one of these uh, uh, C10 boards from uh, cncforpc.com and I was really liking it uh, actually blew it up accidentally one of the traces on it uh, had to uh, solder it back uh, because as you can see here it's uh, less than ideal working conditions it's all just pretty crude while I'm mocking it up here one of these uh, power connectors come out and arc against the back of the computer and blew some stuff. But anyways, so I was having problems getting the uh, uh, run and the forward reverse and uh, the variable control. I'm using the uh, gecko driver to do the variable control here. And so uh, the, the manual shows how to wire that up. But my confusion was coming from actually getting it to go into run mode. And what I did to do that, I read some forum posts, and um, what you have to do is short the forward and the DCM value, so this one and this one. If you want it to run forward, if you want it to run reverse, you short the DCM and the reverse. And um, I just tested that with a wire and it worked perfect. So what I did was I ran out to Radio Shack and grabbed a little 5 volt uh, relay. DC relay and just mocked it up here for temporary. I've got uh, the coil, the thing that triggers it, uh, run to the out on the uh, C10 board. And then I took a couple of Cat5 cables, the green and the white there, and run it for the normally, it's normally, uh, I've got it set for the pins that are normally open. And then whenever the coil hits it, it relay closes and shorts the DCM and the forward. So I'll show you that real quick. I just set it up for temporary here on my custom how file. Uh, right here. So when the spindle is on, it'll shoot out to pin 4 out on my second parallel port. I've got my first one here that's on my motherboard, and that's going to the, the Gecko Drive. And then I've got my second one I installed, and it's going to the C10 here. So, if I go back over here, and I run this, I've got my spindle over there going. Now if I issue M5, And then it goes back to stop mode. I'll go ahead and issue the N3 again. I'll just do an N3 here. The uh, camera will focus. I'm doing this on my little phone here. The thing I've yet to figure out is how to effectively um, control the RPMs um, so that they're calibrated to my S my speed codes here. So they're they're off. I've went through the uh, tutorial on the how to on the Linux uh, CNC but that didn't seem to work and I don't know what I'm doing so I'm going to have to investigate that but I thought I'd just post this up for anybody that had any issues like I did um, trying to get it rolling but uh, anywho thanks have a good one there